Hi, I'm Scylla A. Joy, and this is the second video on my new YouTube channel. And the topic that I'm talking about today is the gospel. What is the gospel? We hear it like that's the gospel truth or gospel music or Christians talk a lot about the gospel. Um, but what is it? Well, essentially, the gospel is the good news. What is it the good news of, though? That's what we're going to talk about today. So let's go back to the very beginning where God created the seas and the mountains and the animals. And eventually he created a man called Adam and a woman called Eve. And these two walked in really close relationship with God. Adam and Eve and God were tight. So God gave them lots of things to do, but eventually enter um, Satan, who had rebelled against God and wanted them to do the same. So he managed to entice them to go against something God had told them not to do. And when that happened, the relationship that they had with God was broken and they no longer knew God in the same way that they used to. And so that is when sin entered the world and with sin came death. And so from that point in time, anyone who was born after Adam and Eve, that is to say everyone, was born into sin, a separation from God, not knowing him the way he really is and being able to walk in that close relationship with him. Now, fast forward several hundred years and enter the person of Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ is the son of God, meaning that he came from God and is of the same essence, God. He is God in the flesh. And he came from the creator God, whom we will call the father. Now, when he came, he was without sin. He was not separated from God, the father, which means that um, he was able to be the proper sacrifice for what that sin um, meant, which is death. That sin brought death. Now, Jesus tells us he came to set the captives free, those who are captives of sin. He came to bring healing to the sick and he came that we may have life and have it to the full. He came to show us what it means to really live and be in that close relationship with God. So how did he do this? He did this by taking the penalty of sin on the cross. The penalty of sin was death. And so Jesus died for us so that we would come back into that close relationship with God and truly be able to know him. So he was nailed to a cross and he died. And then the good news is that he rose again. He rose again and he came to establish the kingdom of God on this earth. And this is what he said while he was there, that the kingdom of God is here. That is what he said the good news was. So why did he do this? Why did God send his son? He did it because he loves us. He did it because he loves you. Yes, you. So Romans 5, 8 says, God demonstrates his love for us in this, that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Christ didn't die for us when we looked pretty and could do lots of good stuff and good actions. No, he knew that we had sin and different things that needed fixing and changing in our lives. And he came to do that even when we weren't deserving of it. So that's it in a nutshell, the gospel in a nutshell. Number one, that we were separated from God by sin. And number two, that Jesus died on the cross and paid the penalty for our sin. Number three, he resurrected and he canceled the effects of that sin in our lives. And number four, he has come to establish his kingdom. He came to establish his kingdom. Um, now he leaves the bowl in your court and he says, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to believe in the name of my son that he died and that he rose again, that you may have life and life to the full? What are you going to do? 
that's it. The gospel in a nutshell. So I'm still a joy. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, share, comment, whatever. Um, hope you've enjoyed this and make sure to tune in for the next one. Bye. So what are you going to do?